It's homework help day two, week five. I'm gonna help you with the two shaded problems you see below. So, the first one says compare using less than or greater than or equal to. Now, normally I change both numbers to percents and you can still very easily do that. But I do wanna show you how sometimes changing them to decimals can help you with a problem like this. So 4.8 is already a decimal. So I'm gonna take four and four fifths and change it to a decimal. Remember, the four is the same as a four point in a decimal. The whole number does not change. You only have to worry about the four fifths. And the do four fifths, remember four fifths is the same as four divided by five, which is 0 0.8. Now just take the 0.8 and put it after the four and you have 4.8. So you'll notice 4.8 is the same on both sides, so your answer is equal to. Now, in the next problem, it's a little bit trickier, trickier than it appears. It says Larry eats 75% of the pizza ordered. If his friends order four pizzas with eight slices in each pizza, how many slices would Larry eat? So we have to figure out how many slices Larry is gonna eat. So I know my answer is gonna be blank slices. Now the thing is, it says he ate 75% of the pizza. Now remember we said that of means times. So it's going to be 75% times something. But we have to figure out how many total slices there were. Now notice they give us he ordered, his friends ordered four pizzas and eight slices in each pizza. So if you take four pizzas times the eight slices in each pizza, you'll get there's 32 total slices. Now, remember, Larry um, only ate 75% of that. So you have to figure out 75% times 32 slices. If you type this in your calculator, you'll get your answer. Now remember to do that. You could, if you have the percent button, just type in 75% times 32. If you don't have the percent button, you type in the decimal form of 75%, which is 0 0.75 times 32. And if you do that, you're gonna get your answer of 24 slices. Anyway, I hope that helped. And if you have any other questions, be ready to ask me tomorrow. Thanks.